Hey, what's up guys? Mike from The Social Campus, and I wanna to talk to you about a really cool topic today called hashtags. And they're not going anywhere, so now and today is the time that you conquer the idea of hashtags and how to basically use them in your business. So, uh, I wanna talk a little bit about them and how they're used, but first, before we're gonna do that, I'm gonna explain exactly what a hashtag is. What it is, is it's a word followed by a pound sign or a hashtag, and it's basically either one word or a couple of words that are packed into a small phrase that are used as a hashtag within like a message or a caption to identify a topic of interest. What it does is when you create a hashtag, is it indexes it in the social media that you're using it on so that others can search for it. So it's a really cool concept, and it was actually created by a guy named Chris Messina on accident. He never knew that it would be quite that big, but he was a Google employee that was one of the developers for Google+, and he actually tweeted the first ever hashtag. Now, the reason he did that was because he had the idea of tracking all of the information in one group through a hashtag, and that group was called BarCamp. BarCamp is still effective today, and what it is is it's a group of people that are all technologically advanced, um, all kinds of people from Google and Microsoft and Facebook, and they basically trade off technological ideas, things that revolve technology and social media platforms and stuff like that. And he had the idea of being able to have those people track and keep up with all of that information in one group by indexing it on social media using the pound sign or a hashtag. And obviously it's worked pretty well. It's become huge uh, all over the world and you can use it on just about any social media. And I'm here today to show you exactly how to do that. So how can you go ahead and start using hashtags? Well, first of all, I'm gonna tell you the don'ts. Don't put too many together. Uh, you know, Don't try to tag five words with just one hashtag. You don't wanna post 30 different hashtags. Try and gain relevance online. It's stupid, it makes you look desperate. You look like spam. And like I always say, don't be a try hard. Don't try too hard and, and just don't do that. And also just a heads up so you guys know, on any social media, when you're posting a hashtag, it becomes public. So if you're posting a hashtag on Twitter, you know, and you have a public account, anybody who searches that hashtag can see your post. So if you have stuff that's private, don't include hashtags. If you have stuff that's promoting business and it's relevant and it's about your niche or your topic, make sure that you're using hashtags because they can be very effective. The other thing is, like I said, don't spam with hashtags. Don't hashtag words that don't even matter, um, especially filler words. You don't want to hashtag them because number one, there's no point. Number two, it just makes you look even more spammy and it also shows that you don't know what you're doing. Um, you just don't want to over tag anything. So only use hashtags when they're relevant to your topic or your niche. Um, also, you wanna avoid using top hashtags. So you don't wanna go on Google and look for your top 10 hashtags or anything like that. You'll get results like tags for likes and like for like and follow me and all these stupid hashtags that just attract spam. Also, they're used by millions of people and as soon as you use it, you're just gonna get drowned out and no one's ever gonna have a chance to see it and, uh, and people don't like that too much. So. The next thing that you can do is you can create your own hashtag. Now, I wouldn't suggest doing this until you have a following of about a thousand people uh, or more. What it can do is it can start a trend within your group of followers in your niche. So that way, whenever somebody sees that particular hashtag, they're gonna be reminded of your brand or your company or your username on your different social medias. Now, the reason I say that you should wait until you have about a thousand followers or more is it comes back to, to the try hard rule. You don't want to, number one, you don't want to look dumb on social media. Uh, it's really hard to get results when you don't have a network to advertise to. Um, and you don't want to make it look like you think that you're something that you're not. And so really it's smart to kind of create your own hashtag once you've really established your brand online. So what you can do in the meantime while you're building up that thousand person following is you can kind of ride the coattails of some other trending hashtags from big companies and big names and big user accounts. And what that'll help you do is gain some visibility from other users that are searching that particular trend. So if big companies are doing contests or they have their own custom hashtags, you can add them to your photos as well to kind of gain some traction. And you'd be surprised because within minutes you can get thousands of eyes on your post by just kind of stealing some of the spotlight from some other companies. Now, you wanna make sure that these hashtags that you're incorporating from somebody else are relevant to your niche. 
So you wanna stay relevant, you wanna make sure that these hashtags have something to do with your product or your brand. You wanna keep it in the same circle. There's no point in gaining attention from people that aren't gonna buy your product or aren't gonna engage with you. So make sure that you stay relevant and always you know, look for topics and trending items that have to do with what you're selling or what you're sharing. So what you see here is a post that is a perfect example of that. So this is my account on Instagram. I have about 10,000 followers online. And what I decided to do was steal a little bit of the spotlight from a trending topic with another company in my niche. So unfortunately, this company went bankrupt. They're no longer in business. A lot of their affiliates were hung out to dry, and it was a big talked about topic on the internet. So what I decided to do was to take that trending topic and apply it to my own profile and gain some traffic and some traction online. So I made a nice attractive post, and I created this that you see right here, and I sent out a message, and I used a couple of the hashtags that were in this trending topic. And I reached out to these people, and it got over 150 likes, and it got 20 comments of people reaching out to me saying, you know, I want in, what team are you on? Or do you have my email and stuff like this? And I got contacted by all kinds of different people. And I got eyes from all over the world because of someone else's uh, situation. And all I did was just kind of hijack that, that hashtag and it gained me some traffic and some new people in my network. So you never know what could happen, guys. The next thing is you wanna hold contests and giveaways, stuff like that. It's so simple to do. It shows your audience that you appreciate them. And it's stuff that you could just simply have laying around the house. These are things like gift cards that could be sitting in your wallet or your purse that you haven't used. Uh, things like iPods. iPods are coming, becoming slowly irrelevant because of the involvement of the iPhone and the iPad and the MacBook. So iPods are really cheap to come by and it's a really cool gift to give somebody. Everybody loves Apple products and you can find them really cheap on eBay for like 20 to 20 to 50 bucks. And that's really, really cool. You could also give away one of your own products for your company for free. You could give out what you're selling for free to a customer or a follower in your audience. You could do something simple like a phone case for an iPhone, a book that's in your niche or that's relevant to what you're doing for your audience. You could give out fashionable items for people that are in you know, makeup or jewelry network marketing companies. But whatever you do, just keep it relevant. If you buy a book, make sure it has to do with your company. If you're giving out an iPod, maybe load some audio books on it beforehand that have to do with your business or your company, or maybe upload a background on it that has your company logo. If you're doing a gift card, give it out to a store that your company supports or that is teamed up with. Things like that, keep it relevant. Now, the post that I made on the slide before this was used called, with an app called Word Swag, and I also used Pit Collage to create an appealing advertisement. Now, once you figure out what kind of contest you wanna do or what type of hashtag you wanna hijack and you wanna create a post, you also wanna have your own custom hashtag to keep track of that stuff. Now, like I said, if you're doing big contests and stuff, or if it's just a one-time thing, create your own hashtag so that you can track the results and keep track of the people that are actually contesting in it. So I have a couple of examples down at the bottom. They're really, really simple to come up with. Do something that not everybody else has. If you just do hashtag iPod giveaway, there's millions of other people that have posted that and you're never gonna be able to keep track of the people that are in the contest. So do something like include your name or make it custom or include your company or brand name so that you can keep track of it. And then you can actually search that hashtag through Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and see your contestants that are actually participating with what you've decided to do. Now, here's an example of one that I thought was a really good, basically template of what you should do. Something really clean, something really simple that's very quality looking with a good photo. And you can do something as simple as just getting people to like the post and they enter the contest. You could get them to tag a friend and like the post, or you could get them to repost the whole thing and tag you and let you know with your hashtag. Or you could simply have them take a picture of themselves and use your hashtag. And that's what this, co this company decided to do was have people take a picture of themselves with their product. And that's a really good way to promote it as well. So that should give you some ideas. Now, here are the different social medias that you can do this on. Hashtags are relevant all over the internet, but these are the main ones. You're looking at Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Google+, Tumblr, Flickr, Pinterest, YouTube, Vine, and even things like kickstart.com. Um, all these social medias track hashtags and you can find ways to search them and really kind of experiment on your own and see what works for your audience. So the biggest thing is you need to take action. You need to do this every single day, stay consistent, experiment on your own, use different hashtags because if you're not winning and you're not trying it, then you're not learning anything. If you're not failing and messing it up, you're not going to learn anything. 
So what I would suggest is start including one or two hashtags in the beginning to gain some traction and see what it can do for you. Don't go buck wild and crazy with it. Don't post a ton of hashtags, keep it simple. And this is what you wanna avoid right here. Example one, this is not exactly what you wanna do. Um, basically here for the most part is just a simple post that I made with a quote, okay? And it says, success isn't for everybody, don't worry about the haters. Now, I included a bunch of gaudy, obnoxious hashtags below it. And think about it, guys. We see this on the internet all the time, especially on Instagram. Now, you want to avoid doing this. Do not do what you see here. You know, the hashtags that you see right here are all those top hashtags that you want to avoid. Don't do that. You want to do something more like example two right here. Now, this is the same exact post and the same quote, but I condensed it and made it simpler and more appealing. So what I did was I incorporated the hashtag into the quote. So instead of just making the quote and posting a bunch of hashtags after it, um, you would instead use the word in the quote, some of the trending bigger words, something like success or haters. Those are big popular tr uh, trending words. And what you wanna do is include your hashtag before the word and include it in your actual quote and then maybe add, add a couple at the end. So there's only four hashtags in this post, but the people only really see two because I've included the first two in the quote, which is my content. And then I just added two more popular ones at the bottom, but they're relevant to my niche. Now, if I'm doing social media marketing or mindset training or network marketing, you know, I'm posting motivation and entrepreneur and success and haters. All these things are relevant to my niche. So you guys need to do the same thing. Keep it short, keep it clean, keep it nice and attractive. And I promise you guys will get some results. The next thing is always remember to explore your new hashtags every day. Make a habit out of looking at your trending topics every single day on Twitter. You can use the trending topic search bar on Instagram. You can use the explore tab and on Facebook, you can use the search bar at the top and look for trending hashtags and new stuff and new companies and new contests and try to ride the coattails a little bit and get you some traction until you can really start to master this stuff on your own. So last but not least, thank you guys so much. I'm so grateful for you and I appreciate you. Hopefully this hashtag training will help you out and help you get some results and be sure to let me know anything else that you'd like me to cover and let me know what this was able to do for you. Thank you so much and have a fabulous night.